bag it. Once you get the tank propped up, there's a couple things you need to disconnect. We got this over here. Pops back into here. And then we have this guy. You need to disconnect that as well. And then there's this one hose over here. And after that, we have some, I guess it's on the other side, but on the other side there's this bolt that the tank hinges on. Can you see it right there? Oh, that sun's coming through. There's a bolt right there that the tank hinges on. That one. Right there. The tank hinges on it and once you take that off and disconnect everything, it should just pop off. So we're gonna start with this one. Simple, you just pop this in, pull, and we're disconnected. All right, for the fuel pump connector, this one sucks. Um, it took me like 10 minutes to figure out, but there's these white tabs back in here. And they're on both sides. There's one on this side, there's one on the back side. You gotta take them, push them in, I never saw the back side. And then you should be able to pop it off just like that. There's a little bit of gas that's gonna come out, but the fuel pump should take care of that. So just have a rag ready. But you're not gonna get that much gas. So back in here, the tank hinges on a 10 millimeter bolt. So we're gonna remove that. And hopefully this should all just pop off. Let's lower the tank and then try to just pick it up. Once you get that bolt out and lower it down, you should be able to just pick it up and walk away. There's still a bunch of gas in here, but I guess there's some kind of valve that stops that. There you go, the tank is off.